Hello, my beloved child. I'm Jesus, your Savior. Here is a message from God to you. Don't close this video without listening because it's for you. In fact, if you love God and His Son, Jesus Christ, watch this video until the end and don't forget to click subscribe, like, and comment on this video. God bless you. I love you, my sons. I love you, my daughters. Now we can hear the message from God. Thank you. Acts 3 verse 19 urges, Repent, then, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. That times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Turning away from sin and seeking forgiveness opens the door for God's healing grace to flow into our lives. Sin creates separation from God, leading to spiritual and emotional brokenness. Through repentance, we acknowledge our wrongs and seek His mercy, which He freely offers. Psalm 51 verse 17 says, My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. When we come to Him with humility and sincerity, He forgives us and begins the work of restoration. Repentance is not only about confessing sin but also about turning toward God and embracing a new way of living. This process brings healing as we let go of guilt and shame, replacing them with the joy of salvation. In repenting, we align ourselves with His truth and invite His Spirit to renew our hearts and minds. Healing through serving others. Serving others is a powerful avenue for healing both for those we serve and for ourselves. Jesus exemplified this truth when he said, The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, Matthew 20 verse 28. By following his example, we become instruments of his healing in the lives of others. Acts of service, whether through volunteering, offering encouragement, or meeting practical needs, demonstrate God's love in action. Galatians 6 verse 2 instructs, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Serving others not only alleviates their pain but also brings us a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Service shifts our focus from our own struggles to the needs of others, fostering gratitude and perspective. As we pour out compassion and kindness, we often find that God heals our own wounds in the process. Proverbs 11 verse 25 affirms, A generous person will prosper, whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Healing through hope. Hope is an anchor for the soul, grounding us in God's promises and sustaining us through life storms. Romans 15 verse 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hope in Christ is not wishful thinking but a confident expectation rooted in His faithfulness. Hope provides healing by lifting our eyes from our circumstances to the God who holds our future. It reminds us that no matter how dire a situation may seem, God is still at work, bringing redemption and restoration. Lamentations 3 verses 21 to 23 declares, Yet this I call to mind and therefore I have hope because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Healing through hope involves trusting God's timing and plan, even when the path ahead is unclear. As we place our hope in Him, we experience peace that surpasses understanding and joy that defies circumstances. Hope transforms despair into faith, empowering us to persevere and embrace the fullness of His healing. Healing through creation and rest. God's creation is a reflection of His beauty and power, offering a natural source of healing and renewal. Psalm 19 verse 1 declares, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Spending time in nature allows us to experience His presence in a tangible way, calming our spirits and refreshing our souls. Rest is also essential for healing. Genesis 2 verse 2 reminds us that even God rested on the seventh day, setting an example for us to follow. 
Jesus himself often withdrew to quiet places to pray and rest, Luke 5 verse 16. Taking time to pause, breathe, and reflect restores our physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. In rest, we are reminded that our worth is not based on our productivity but on our identity as God's beloved children. Resting in His presence allows us to release our burdens and find peace in His care. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 invites us, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Healing through eternal perspective. Keeping an eternal perspective brings profound healing by reminding us that this life is not the end of the story. Revelation 21 verse 4 promises, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. This hope sustains us through trials. Giving us confidence that God is preparing a place for us where suffering will cease. An eternal perspective shifts our focus from temporary struggles to the lasting glory that awaits us. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 17 to 18 encourages, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. This perspective brings healing by helping us endure challenges with faith and patience. It reminds us that every trial has a purpose and that God's ultimate plan for our lives is one of restoration, joy, and victory. With eternity in mind, we can face difficulties with hope and courage, trusting that God's promises are true. Would you like additional expansions or new themes of healing explored? Healing through spiritual warfare. Healing often requires engaging in spiritual warfare, as we recognize that our struggles are not merely physical or emotional but also spiritual. Ephesians 6 verse 12 reminds us, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities. Against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Through the power of God. We are equipped to overcome these forces and experience healing in every area of our lives. To engage in spiritual warfare, we must put on the full armor of God as described in Ephesians 6 verses 13 to 17. This includes the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Each piece of armor is essential in protecting us from the enemy's attacks and enabling us to stand firm in the truth of God's promises. Prayer is a vital weapon in spiritual warfare. James 5 verse 16 declares, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Through fervent prayer, we invite God's power into our battles, declaring His authority over sickness, fear, and oppression. As we pray, we also discern the enemy's strategies and stand against them with the truth of God's word. Worship is another powerful tool in spiritual warfare. Psalm 22 verse 3 says, Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. When we worship, we shift our focus from our struggles to God's greatness, inviting His presence to dwell among us. Worship silences the enemy and strengthens our faith, bringing peace and healing to our hearts. Healing through spiritual warfare requires perseverance and faith. 2 Corinthians 10 verses 4-5 assures us, the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. As we stand firm in God's truth and rely on His power, we experience victory over darkness and the fullness of His healing. Healing through unity in the body of Christ. The body of Christ plays a crucial role in the healing process, as believers come together in unity to support and encourage one another. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 26 explains, If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Through fellowship and mutual care, 
we experience the healing power of community. Unity brings healing by fostering an environment of love, accountability, and encouragement. Galatians 6 verse 2 urges, carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. When we share our struggles with trusted brothers and sisters in Christ, we find comfort and strength in their prayers and support. The church is also a place where spiritual gifts are used for healing. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9 speaks of gifts of healing given by the Holy Spirit. When believers operate in these gifts, God's power flows through them to bring physical, emotional, and spiritual restoration to others. Unity in the body of Christ also brings healing to divisions and conflicts. Ephesians 4 verse 3 encourages us to make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. As we forgive one another, seek reconciliation, and work together for God's glory. We reflect His love and bring healing to broken relationships. Healing through unity requires humility, patience, and a commitment to putting others before ourselves. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4 teaches, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interests of the others. When we embody this mindset, we create a community where God's healing power is evident and His love is made tangible. Healing through the fruits of the Spirit The fruits of the Spirit, described in Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23, are evidence of God's work in our lives and a source of healing. These fruits, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, transform our character and relationships, bringing restoration and wholeness. Love heals by breaking down walls of fear and division, fostering connection and understanding. Joy restores our hope and reminds us of God's faithfulness, even in difficult circumstances. Peace calms our hearts and minds, allowing us to trust in God's sovereignty. Patience brings healing by teaching us to wait on God's timing and extend grace to others. Kindness and goodness reflect God's character, creating an atmosphere of compassion and care. Faithfulness strengthens our resolve to follow Him, even when the journey is hard. Gentleness heals relationships by replacing harshness with understanding. Self-control helps us overcome destructive behaviors and align our actions with God's will. As we cultivate these fruits through the Holy Spirit, we experience healing in our inner lives and become agents of healing to others. John 15 verse 5 reminds us, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Staying connected to Christ is essential for living a life that reflects His love and power. Healing through faith Faith is a cornerstone of healing, as it opens the door for God's power to work in our lives. Hebrews 11 verse 1 defines faith as confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Through faith, we trust in God's ability to heal and His desire to bring restoration. Throughout Scripture, we see examples of faith leading to healing. In Mark 5 verse 34, Jesus tells the woman who touched his garment, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Her belief in his power brought her the physical and emotional healing she desperately needed. Faith also sustains us when healing is not immediate. It reminds us that God's ways are higher than ours, Isaiah 55 verse 9, and that His timing is perfect. Faith enables us to persevere, trusting that He is working all things for our good, Romans 8 verse 28. Healing through faith requires surrendering our doubts and fears to God. Mark 9 verse 24 captures this beautifully, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. As we grow in faith, we experience the peace and confidence that come from knowing He is in control. Healing through God's presence 
The presence of God is the ultimate source of healing, bringing peace, comfort, and restoration to our souls. Psalm 16 verse 11 declares, You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Being in God's presence transforms our hearts and minds, lifting the burdens that weigh us down. God's presence is a refuge in times of trouble. Psalm 91 verse 1 assures us, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. When we intentionally draw near to Him through worship, prayer, and meditation, we find solace and strength. His presence dispels fear, replacing it with the assurance of His love and care. Healing through God's presence often occurs in moments of stillness and surrender. Exodus 14 verse 14 reminds us, The Lord will fight for you, you need only to be still. In the quiet, we become more aware of His nearness and allow Him to work deeply in our lives. Whether it's healing a broken heart, providing clarity in confusion, or renewing our hope, His presence meets us exactly where we are. The indwelling of the Holy Spirit ensures that God's presence is always with us. John 14 verses 16 to 17 promises, And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another Advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The Holy Spirit guides, comforts, and empowers us. Making the presence of God tangible in our daily lives. Healing through community worship. Corporate worship is a powerful expression of unity that brings healing to individuals and communities. Matthew 18 verse 20 declares, For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. When believers come together to lift their voices in praise, the presence of God manifests in a unique and transformative way. Worship shifts our focus from our struggles to God's greatness. As we exalt His name, we are reminded of His power and faithfulness, which brings healing to our doubts and fears. The atmosphere of worship allows the Holy Spirit to move freely, touching hearts and breaking chains of oppression. Community worship also fosters connection and encouragement. Colossians 3 verse 16 instructs, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. In this shared act of worship, believers strengthen one another's faith and build a spirit of unity. Healing through worship extends beyond the individual, impacting entire communities. Acts 16 verses 25 to 26 recounts how Paul and Silas sang hymns in prison, and their worship led to a miraculous earthquake that set all the prisoners free. Their faith-filled worship not only brought physical freedom but also spiritual awakening to those around them. Healing through God's creation. Nature is a reflection of God's glory and a source of renewal and healing. Romans 1 verse 20 explains, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly seen. Being understood from what has been made. Spending time in creation allows us to connect with the Creator and experience His peace. The beauty of the natural world inspires awe and gratitude, shifting our perspective from our problems to God's majesty. Psalm 19 verse 1 proclaims, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Whether it's a sunrise, a forest, or a gentle breeze, creation speaks of His faithfulness and care. Healing through nature often involves rest and reflection. Jesus Himself often retreated to the wilderness to pray and recharge, Luke 5 verse 16. In the stillness of creation, we can hear God's voice more clearly and find restoration for our weary souls. Nature also provides tangible reminders of God's provision and creativity. Matthew 6 verses 26 to 27 encourages, Look at the birds of the air, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. 
Are you not much more valuable than they? Observing the cycles of life in nature reminds us of his sovereignty and care, bringing peace to our hearts. Healing through fasting. Fasting is a spiritual discipline that brings clarity, renewal, and healing. Isaiah 58 verses 6 to 8 describes the true purpose of fasting, is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Through fasting, we humble ourselves before God, seeking His guidance and intervention. Fasting brings healing by removing distractions and sharpening our focus on God. As we set aside physical needs, we open our hearts to hear His voice and experience His presence in deeper ways. Matthew 4 verse 4 reminds us, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Fasting also brings breakthrough in areas of struggle and bondage. Mark 9 verse 29 reveals, this kind can come out only by prayer and fasting. Combining fasting with prayer invites God's power to intervene in impossible situations, bringing freedom and restoration. Healing through fasting involves a posture of repentance and surrender. Joel 2 verses 12 to 13 calls us to return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. As we draw near to God, He responds with compassion and renewal. Healing through celebration. Celebration is an often overlooked aspect of healing, but rejoicing in God's goodness brings joy and renewal to our spirits. Nehemiah 8 verse 10 declares, The joy of the Lord is your strength. Taking time to celebrate His blessings and faithfulness restores our hope and reminds us of His love. Biblical feasts and celebrations, such as Passover and Pentecost, were instituted as times of reflection and gratitude for God's provision and deliverance. These moments of rejoicing bring healing by fostering gratitude and connection to His story. Celebration also strengthens community bonds. Acts 2 verses 46 to 47 describes the early church. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. Shared moments of joy create unity and reinforce the truth of God's faithfulness. Healing through celebration requires a mindset of gratitude. Philippians 4 verse 4 encourages, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Even in challenging times, celebrating small victories and blessings helps us focus on God's goodness and builds our resilience. Healing through surrender to God's will. True healing often begins with surrender, letting go of our plans, desires, and burdens to embrace God's perfect will. Jesus demonstrated this surrender in the Garden of Gethsemane, saying, Yet not as I will, but as you will, Matthew 26 verse 39. When we entrust our lives to God, we experience peace and restoration, knowing that His plans for us are good, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Surrender requires releasing control and trusting in God's sovereignty. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 reminds us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. This trust is healing in itself, as it frees us from anxiety, fear, and the pressure to figure everything out on our own. Healing through surrender also means accepting God's timing and methods. Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9 declares, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Often, God's plans differ from ours, but His ways lead to greater healing and blessings than we could imagine. As we surrender, we align ourselves with His purposes, allowing Him to work in and through us. Surrendering to God's will often involves repentance and humility. James 4 verse 10 encourages, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. As we confess our sins and turn away from self-reliance, 
we open our hearts to His grace and forgiveness, which bring deep and lasting healing. Healing through hope in eternal life. Our ultimate healing lies in the hope of eternal life with God. Revelation 21 verse 4 promises, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. This hope sustains us through life's challenges. Reminding us that our suffering is temporary and that God's glory awaits us. The assurance of eternal life brings peace and healing to our souls. John 11 verses 25 to 26 records Jesus' words, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. This promise reassures us that death has been defeated and that we have a future secured in his presence. Healing through hope is not just about looking forward to heaven, it transforms our lives here and now. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 16 to 18 encourages, Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. As we focus on eternal truths, we gain strength to endure trials and find joy in God's faithfulness. This hope also compels us to share the message of healing and salvation with others. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 urges, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. As we live with an eternal perspective, our lives become a testimony to God's transformative power. Healing through obedience to God's word. Obedience to God's word is a pathway to healing as it aligns our lives with his truth and wisdom. Psalm 119 verse 93 declares, I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have preserved my life. Following his commandments brings protection, blessings, and restoration. Healing through obedience begins with hearing and applying God's word. James 1 verse 22 exhorts, Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. When we act on his teachings, we experience the peace and wholeness that come from living according to his will. Obedience also fosters a deeper relationship with God. John 14 verse 23 assures, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. This intimacy with God brings healing to our hearts, as we draw closer to the source of life and love. Through obedience, we experience the healing power of forgiveness and reconciliation. Matthew 5 verses 23 to 24 instructs us to seek peace with others before offering our gifts at the altar. As we follow this command, we mend broken relationships and reflect God's grace. Healing through obedience requires faith and perseverance. Sometimes, God's commands may challenge us or require sacrifice, but trusting Him leads to greater blessings. Deuteronomy 5 verse 33 promises, Walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Healing through the blood of Jesus The blood of Jesus is the foundation of all healing, spiritual, emotional, and physical. Isaiah 53 verse 5 proclaims, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds, we are healed. His sacrifice on the cross paid the price for our redemption and restoration. Healing through the blood of Jesus begins with receiving his forgiveness. Ephesians 1 verse 7 declares, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. As we accept his gift of salvation, we are made new, free from the burden of guilt and shame. The blood of Jesus also protects us from the enemy's attacks. Revelation 12 verse 11 says, They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. 
When we declare his victory, we overcome fear, oppression, and spiritual bondage. Through his blood, we are adopted into God's family and receive access to his promises. Hebrews 10 verses 19 to 22 encourages us to draw near to God with the full assurance that faith brings, knowing that Jesus' sacrifice has cleansed us and made us whole. Healing through the blood of Jesus is a continual process, as we daily apply its power to our lives. 1 John 1 verse 7 reminds us, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. This ongoing purification brings freedom, peace, and restoration. Healing through divine patience. Patience is a virtue that reflects God's character and leads us into healing and growth. Galatians 5 verse 22 includes patience as a fruit of the Spirit, and its practice teaches us to rely on God's perfect timing rather than our own desires or expectations. Waiting on the Lord, though challenging, refines our faith and renews our strength. Healing through patience begins with trusting in God's promises. Lamentations 3 verses 25 to 26 reminds us, The Lord is good to those whose hope is in Him, to the one who seeks Him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Patience allows us to step back from the pressures of life and rest in His sovereignty, knowing He works all things for our good, Romans 8. 28. Patience fosters healing by helping us release control. Isaiah 40 verse 31 promises, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. As we learn to wait, we discover the sustaining power of God, which restores our hope and endurance. Through patience, we also develop greater empathy and understanding for others. Colossians 3 verse 12 encourages us to clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. This relational healing allows us to mend broken connections, offer grace to those who hurt us, and reflect God's long-suffering love to the world. Patience is not passive, it is active trust in God's will and timing. Psalm 37 verse 7 exhorts, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Choosing to focus on God's faithfulness rather than the temporary injustices of life frees us from bitterness and anxiety, bringing peace to our hearts. Healing through renewal of the mind. The renewal of our minds is a key component of spiritual and emotional healing. Romans 12 verse 2 commands, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This transformation begins with aligning our thoughts with God's truth, replacing lies and negativity with His promises. Healing through mind renewal starts with meditating on Scripture. Psalm 1 verses 2 to 3 describes the blessings of those who delight in God's Word likening them to a tree planted by streams of water. Consistent study and reflection on His truth nourish our souls and provide a firm foundation for overcoming life's challenges. Negative thought patterns often hinder healing, but 2 Corinthians 10. 5 teaches us to take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. This discipline allows us to reject fears, doubts, and lies that lead to despair and embrace God's perspective, which brings hope and restoration. The renewal of the mind also involves practicing gratitude. Philippians 4 verse 8 instructs us to focus on what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. By choosing to dwell on God's goodness and blessings, we cultivate a positive mindset that fosters emotional and spiritual healing. This process is empowered by the Holy Spirit, who works within us to transform our hearts and minds. Ephesians 4 verse 23 encourages us to be made new in the attitude of your minds. 
As we surrender our thoughts to Him, He reshapes our perspectives, heals past wounds, and equips us to live in freedom and joy. Healing through Servanthood Serving others is a powerful way to experience healing and purpose. Jesus modeled servanthood throughout His ministry, culminating in the ultimate act of humility and love, His sacrifice on the cross. Mark 10 verse 45 states, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give His life as a ransom for many. Healing through servanthood begins with shifting our focus from ourselves to others. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4 exhorts us to do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interests of the others. This outward focus brings perspective. Reminding us of the joy found in loving and serving as Christ did. Serving others fosters healing by building meaningful connections. Acts 20 verse 35 records Jesus' words. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Through acts of kindness, we create opportunities for God's love to flow through us, bringing encouragement, restoration, and unity to our relationships. The act of serving also aligns us with God's purposes, which brings fulfillment and healing to our souls. Ephesians 2 verse 10 declares, for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. As we embrace our role in His plan, we find a deeper sense of meaning and satisfaction. Healing through servanthood often involves stepping outside our comfort zones. John 13 verses 14 to 15 recounts Jesus washing His disciples' feet and encouraging them to follow His example. When we humble ourselves to serve, even in challenging or uncomfortable ways, we reflect His character and experience the blessings of obedience. Healing through divine purpose Discovering and living out our God-given purpose is a source of profound healing and fulfillment. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 reveals God's intentionality in our creation, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Embracing His unique calling for our lives brings clarity, joy, and restoration. Healing through purpose begins with seeking God's guidance. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 encourages us to trust in Him and submit our plans to His direction. As we align our lives with His will, we find meaning in our experiences, even in pain and trials. Romans 8 verse 28 assures us that, in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Living out our purpose often involves using our gifts to serve others. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 instructs, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. As faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. This outward focus not only blesses those around us, but also brings healing and fulfillment to our own hearts. Through divine purpose, we gain resilience to face challenges. Philippians 3 verses 13 to 14 encourages us to press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Knowing that our lives have eternal significance gives us the strength to persevere and trust in His plan. Healing through unity in the body of Christ. Healing flourishes in the context of unity within the body of Christ. As believers, we are called to live in harmony, supporting and encouraging one another in love. Ephesians 4 verse 3 urges us to make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Unity not only strengthens the church but also creates an environment where individuals can experience healing and restoration. Healing through unity begins with embracing our shared identity in Christ. Galatians 3 verse 28 proclaims, There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. 
When we recognize that our common faith surpasses all differences, we foster a sense of belonging that heals wounds of division and isolation. Unity allows us to bear one another's burdens, as instructed in Galatians 6 verse 2. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Through prayer, encouragement, and practical support, we become vessels of God's healing power in each other's lives. This mutual care strengthens relationships and builds resilience in the face of trials. Forgiveness is a cornerstone of unity and a pathway to healing. Colossians 3 verse 13 advises, Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. By letting go of offenses and choosing reconciliation, we reflect Christ's love and create space for peace and healing within the community. Unity also amplifies our collective worship and prayer. Matthew 18 verse 20 assures us, For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Corporate worship and intercession bring healing to individuals and the church as a whole. As God's presence moves powerfully in united hearts. Healing through the power of praise. Praise is a dynamic force that ushers in healing and breakthrough. Psalm 22 verse 3 declares that God inhabits the praises of his people, and where his presence dwells, there is fullness of joy and restoration, Psalm 16 verse 11. When we praise him, even in the midst of pain, we open our hearts to his healing touch. Healing through praise begins with acknowledging God's sovereignty and goodness. Habakkuk 3 verses 17 to 18 exemplifies this attitude. Though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. Praising Him despite our circumstances shifts our focus from problems to His promises, lifting our spirits and renewing our hope. Praise has the power to break spiritual strongholds. In Acts 16 verses 25 to 26, Paul and Silas sang hymns to God while imprisoned, and their worship led to a miraculous earthquake that freed them. Similarly, when we choose to praise, we experience freedom from fear, doubt, and despair, paving the way for healing. Through praise, we declare God's faithfulness and align our hearts with His truth. Isaiah 61 verse 3 speaks of God giving, a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. This act of worship replaces negativity with gratitude and joy, which are vital for emotional and spiritual healing. Corporate praise fosters unity and healing within the body of Christ. Ephesians 5 verses 19 to 20 encourages believers to speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. As we join together in worship, we strengthen our bond with one another and experience God's healing presence collectively. Healing through endurance in trials. Endurance in the face of trials is a pathway to spiritual growth and healing. James 1 verses 2 to 4 exhorts, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Perseverance refines our character, deepens our trust in God, and brings healing to areas of weakness. Healing through endurance begins with recognizing the purpose of trials. Romans 5 verses 3 to 5 explains, We also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. Challenges are not meaningless, they are opportunities for God to strengthen us and reveal His faithfulness. Endurance requires leaning on God's strength. Isaiah 41 verse 10 assures, So do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. As we rely on Him, we find the courage to keep going and the grace to heal from setbacks. Through endurance, we gain wisdom and maturity. 
Hebrews 12 verse 11 acknowledges, no discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. This process of growth brings inner healing and equips us to help others navigate their struggles. Endurance also leads to a deeper relationship with God. Psalm 34 verse 18 reminds us, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. As we persevere through pain, we experience His comfort and presence in profound ways, which heal and restore our souls. Healing through sharing testimonies Sharing testimonies of God's faithfulness is a source of healing and encouragement for both the speaker and the listener. Revelation 12 verse 11 declares, They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. When we testify to God's work in our lives, we magnify his power and inspire hope in others. Healing through testimony begins with gratitude for God's blessings. Psalm 9 verse 1 says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. By recounting his acts of provision and deliverance, we reinforce our faith and invite others to trust in his goodness. Testimonies foster healing by creating connections. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 4 explains that God comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Sharing our experiences allows us to empathize with others, offering encouragement and reminding them they are not alone. Through testimonies, we glorify God and strengthen our witness. Psalm 107 verse 2 urges, let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story, those he redeemed from the hand of the foe. As we proclaim his faithfulness, we bring healing to our doubts and build a legacy of hope for future generations. Testifying also helps us overcome fear and shame. By boldly sharing our stories, we acknowledge God's work in our lives and embrace his healing. John 8 verse 36 assures, so if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. This freedom brings restoration and empowers us to walk in His truth. Healing through trust in God's sovereignty. Placing trust in God's sovereignty is a profound avenue for healing. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 calls us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Trusting in God's overarching control provides peace, clarity, and emotional healing as we rest in His wisdom and care. Healing through trust begins with acknowledging that God's plans surpass our comprehension. Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9 reminds us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. By surrendering to his greater perspective, we release the anxiety that stems from trying to control outcomes ourselves. Trusting God's sovereignty brings comfort in times of uncertainty. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reassures us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Even when circumstances feel overwhelming, faith in his perfect plan restores our hope and strengthens our hearts. Trust fosters healing by replacing fear with confidence. Psalm 46 verse 10 urges us to be still and know that I am God. This stillness allows us to experience his presence, assuring us that he is at work even in the midst of trials. His unchanging nature becomes an anchor for our souls, as stated in Hebrews 6 verse 19, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. Healing through trust also involves relinquishing past wounds and forgiving ourselves for mistakes. Romans 8 verse 28 affirms, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. 
Believing that God can redeem even the most painful experiences brings restoration and peace to our hearts. Healing through obedience to God's word. Obedience to God's word is a vital path to healing and wholeness. Psalm 119 verse 105 declares, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Following his instructions not only keeps us aligned with his will but also fosters spiritual, emotional, and relational healing. Healing through obedience begins with embracing God's commandments as life-giving guidance. Deuteronomy 30 verse 16 promises, For I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to Him, and to keep His commands, decrees, and laws. Then you will live and increase, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to possess. Obedience brings blessings and protection. Shielding us from the consequences of sin and aligning us with His purpose. Through obedience, we experience the healing power of confession and repentance. 1 John 1 verse 9 assures us, if we confess our sins. He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Acknowledging our mistakes and turning away from them restores our relationship with God and brings freedom from guilt and shame. Obedience to God's word also fosters relational healing. Ephesians 4 verses 29 to 32 instructs us to not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. By living out his teachings in our interactions, we nurture unity, forgiveness, and love, mending broken bonds and fostering reconciliation. Faithful obedience often leads to healing through the discipline of perseverance. Galatians 6 verse 9 encourages us, Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Remaining steadfast in our commitment to God's ways brings long-term rewards and restoration. Healing through hope in eternity. Focusing on the hope of eternity brings deep healing to our souls. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 16 to 18 reminds us, Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. This eternal perspective reframes our challenges, offering peace and encouragement. Healing through hope in eternity begins with understanding the promise of everlasting life. John 14 verses 2 to 3 records Jesus' assurance. My father's house has many rooms, I am going there to prepare a place for you. Knowing that our ultimate destination is secure in his presence provides comfort and reassurance. Even in the midst of suffering. This hope empowers us to endure earthly trials with resilience. Romans 8 verse 18 states, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Fixing our eyes on the eternal reward enables us to face hardships with courage and determination. Hope in eternity also brings healing by transforming grief. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 13 to 14 encourages, Do not grieve like the rest of mankind, who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. This assurance of resurrection and reunion with loved ones fills our hearts with comfort and joy, softening the sting of loss. Living with eternity in mind inspires us to make meaningful choices. Colossians 3 verse 2 urges, Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. As we focus on heavenly treasures rather than temporal concerns, we experience freedom from anxiety and materialism. Aligning our lives with God's eternal purposes. Healing through God's perfect peace. God's peace surpasses human understanding and is a powerful force for healing. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 assures us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. 
And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. His peace protects our hearts and minds, bringing emotional and spiritual healing. Healing through peace begins with surrendering our worries to God. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 invites us to, cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. By releasing our fears and burdens to Him, we make room for His calming presence to settle within us. This act of trust is the first step toward experiencing His peace. God's peace provides healing by quieting our inner turmoil. Isaiah 26 verse 3 promises, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. When we focus on His character and faithfulness, we find stability and assurance. Even amidst life's storms. Healing is also nurtured through the practice of stillness in God's presence. Psalm 46 verse 10 declares, Be still, and know that I am God. In moments of stillness, we tune out distractions and hear His gentle voice, which guides us toward restoration and clarity. His peace renews our strength and equips us to face challenges with courage. Through God's peace, relationships are restored and reconciled. Colossians 3 verse 15 advises, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. By allowing His peace to govern our interactions, we foster unity, resolve conflicts, and build stronger connections with others. Healing through the power of community. Community plays a vital role in the healing process. Acts 2 verse 42 describes the early church. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Being part of a Christ-centered community provides encouragement, accountability, and support during times of need. Healing through community begins with authentic relationships. Proverbs 27 verse 17 observes, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. In genuine friendships, we find people who challenge us to grow, offer wisdom, and remind us of God's truth. These connections provide strength and healing during life's trials. Community provides a safe space to share burdens. Galatians 6 verse 2 instructs us to carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. When we open our hearts to trusted friends and mentors, we experience relief and support. Knowing we are not alone in our struggles. Healing is also fostered through mutual encouragement. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 urges, Encourage one another and build each other up. Words of affirmation, prayer, and acts of kindness uplift our spirits and remind us of God's love. These small gestures have a profound impact on our healing journey. Community reminds us of our shared purpose in Christ. Ephesians 4 verse 16 states, From Him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love, as each part does its work. By serving alongside others, we discover our unique roles in God's kingdom and experience healing through meaningful contribution. Healing through worship and reverence. Worship is a powerful avenue for encountering God's healing presence. Psalm 95 verse 6 invites us, Come, let us bow down in worship, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. In worship, we exalt God, align our hearts with His will, and experience the transformative power of His glory. Healing through worship begins with adoration and surrender. John 4 verse 24 teaches, God is spirit, and His worshippers must worship in the spirit and in truth. True worship involves offering our hearts fully to Him, trusting that He meets us in our vulnerability and restores our souls. Worship renews our perspective, shifting our focus from problems to God's greatness. Psalm 34 verse 3 encourages, Glorify the Lord with me, let us exalt His name together. In praising Him, 
we are reminded of His sovereignty and faithfulness, which bring peace and healing. Through worship, we invite God's presence into our lives. Psalm 22 verse 3 declares, You are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. His presence carries healing power, touching our brokenness and filling us with His love and joy. Healing also flows from worship as we declare His promises. Singing songs of faith and victory strengthens our spirits and reinforces His truths. Colossians 3 verse 16 urges, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly, through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. These declarations uplift our hearts and remind us of His unfailing goodness. Healing through the pursuit of holiness. Holiness is both a calling and a source of healing. 1 Peter 1 verse 16 commands, Be holy, because I am holy. As we strive to live lives set apart for God, we experience freedom from sin, clarity in our purpose, and restoration of our relationship with Him. Healing through holiness begins with repentance and purification. Psalm 51 verse 10 pleads, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. When we seek forgiveness and turn from sin, we are cleansed and renewed, paving the way for healing in every area of life. Holiness involves aligning our actions with God's Word. Romans 12 verses 1-2 to urges, Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, this is your true and proper worship. By dedicating ourselves to His service, we find fulfillment and healing in walking according to His plan. Pursuing holiness also protects us from the harm caused by sin. Proverbs 4 verse 23 advises, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Guarding our thoughts, actions, and relationships fosters spiritual and emotional well-being. Holiness equips us to be vessels of healing for others. 2 Timothy 2 verse 21 explains, Those who cleanse themselves will be instruments for special purposes, made holy, useful to the Master and prepared to do any good work. As we grow in holiness, we become effective in ministering to others, spreading God's healing and love. Healing through God's Word of Truth the Word of God is a powerful source of healing. Hebrews 4 verse 12 reveals, For the Word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The truth in God's Word cuts through our confusion and pain, revealing areas that need healing and restoration. Healing through God's Word begins with immersion in Scripture. Psalm 119 verse 11 declares, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. When we consistently meditate on God's Word, it transforms our minds, provides wisdom, and helps us to live according to His will. This alignment with His Word leads to healing in all aspects of life, emotional, mental, and spiritual. God's Word also brings healing by providing promises of hope. Romans 15 verse 4 affirms, For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us. So that through the endurance taught in the Scriptures and the encouragement they provide we might have hope. These promises remind us that God is faithful and that His Word is a reliable source of strength in times of need. Scripture also heals by renewing our minds. Romans 12 verse 2 urges, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. The more we allow the truth of God's word to shape our thinking, the more we are healed from destructive thought patterns and negative emotions. The word of God serves as a weapon against spiritual and emotional warfare. Ephesians 6 verse 17 tells us to take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. By speaking and meditating on Scripture, 
We resist the enemy's lies and the attacks that come against our minds and hearts. Strengthening our resolve and inviting healing. Healing through God's love and compassion. God's love is at the heart of all healing. 1 John 4 verse 16 reveals, So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. His perfect love heals our wounds, comforts us in sorrow, and restores us to a place of wholeness. Healing through love begins with knowing that God loves us unconditionally. Romans 5 verse 8 reassures us, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. His love is not dependent on our actions or worthiness but is freely given to us, no matter our state. This deep assurance of his love brings emotional healing, lifting us out of guilt, shame, and self-doubt. God's love transforms us from the inside out. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 declares, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. When we accept God's love, it changes our identity in our hearts, making us new and whole. This transformation is the root of healing, as we step into the fullness of who He created us to be. Healing through God's love also comes from experiencing His compassion. Matthew 9 verse 36 shows us the heart of Jesus. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless. Like sheep without a shepherd. Jesus' deep empathy and compassion for others reveal God's heart for healing. When we open ourselves to receive his compassion, we experience peace and comfort in times of pain. God's love is also experienced through the love of others. Galatians 6 verse 2 tells us, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. When we allow others to share our burdens, we experience God's love in action. Acts of kindness, support, and prayer bring healing to our brokenness, reminding us that we are not alone. Healing through God's patience and long-suffering, God's patience is an essential part of the healing process. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 affirms, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. God's patience allows us to take the time we need for healing. He does not rush or force the process but gently nurtures us through every step. Healing through patience begins with trusting that God's timing is perfect. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 teaches, There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. Healing takes time, and God's patience allows us to heal at the pace that is right for us. This trust in His timing brings peace and hope during the waiting periods. God's patience also teaches us how to be patient with ourselves. Lamentations 3 verses 25 to 26 says, The Lord is good to those whose hope is in Him, to the one who seeks Him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Learning to wait quietly, without rushing or forcing our healing, cultivates inner peace and trust in God's unfolding work in our lives. God's patience enables us to extend grace to others. Colossians 3 verse 13 urges, Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. As we receive God's patient love, we are empowered to show patience and grace to others, fostering healing in our relationships. Through His long-suffering, God remains committed to our healing, no matter how long it takes. Psalm 103 verse 8 reminds us, the Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. His patience is a source of healing, as it reassures us that He will never give up on us. Even when healing feels slow or difficult. Healing through servant leadership and humility. Serving others is a path to healing, as it reflects Christ's example of humility and love. 
Mark 10 verse 45 declares, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus' selfless example teaches us that true healing comes when we focus on others rather than ourselves. Healing through service begins with embracing the call to humble service. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4 instructs, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interests of the others. By serving others, we experience healing in our hearts as we follow Christ's example of humility. Service brings healing by shifting our focus. When we help others, we often find that our own burdens feel lighter. Galatians 5 verse 13 encourages, serve one another humbly in love. Through service, we experience the joy of blessing others and are healed by the act of giving. True healing through service comes when we serve without expecting anything in return. Luke 6 verse 35 reminds us, but love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. Serving others with a pure heart frees us from selfishness and pride, making space for deeper healing. Finally, servant leadership brings healing by inspiring others to live out their God-given purposes. 1 Peter 5 verses 2-3 encourages leaders to be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. By leading with humility, we foster an environment where healing can thrive and where others are empowered to grow and heal as well. Healing through hope in Christ. Hope is a powerful force for healing. Romans 15 verse 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hope in Christ is a foundational element of healing, as it anchors us in God's promises and fills us with joy and peace. Even in the midst of suffering, healing through hope begins with a renewed perspective on our circumstances. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 16 to 18 encourages, Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. When we fix our eyes on the eternal promises of God, our present struggles lose their overwhelming grip on our hearts. This eternal perspective brings healing to our weary souls, knowing that God has greater things in store for us. Hope in Christ also brings healing by empowering us to persevere. Romans 5 verses 3 to 4 assures, We also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. When we endure hardships with hope, they refine our character, deepen our faith, and increase our trust in God. This growth process leads to emotional and spiritual healing, as we become more resilient in the face of life's trials. Hope is not only about enduring through difficulty but also about believing in the goodness of God. Lamentations 3 verses 21 to 23 offers, Yet this I call to mind and therefore I have hope, because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. Knowing that God's love and compassion are renewed every day gives us the strength to face challenges with confidence, trusting that his goodness will prevail. Finally, hope brings healing by offering us a sense of purpose. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 declares, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. When we trust that God has a good plan for our lives, it inspires us to move forward in faith, knowing that each step is part of His greater purpose. This hope fuels us with the energy to heal, grow, and thrive. 
healing through the power of praise and thanksgiving. Praise and thanksgiving are central to the healing process. Psalm 100 verse 4 encourages, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. When we lift our voices in praise and thanksgiving, we align our hearts with God's goodness and power, inviting his healing presence into our lives. Healing through praise begins with recognizing God's greatness. Psalm 34 verses 1 to 3 declares, I will extol the Lord at all times, his praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord, let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. Praising God for who he is, holy, loving, and faithful, restores our focus and heals our hearts by reminding us of his supremacy over all circumstances. Thanksgiving also promotes healing by cultivating gratitude. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 exhorts, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. When we give thanks for even the small blessings in our lives, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have. Which leads to a more positive and healing outlook. Gratitude reduces anxiety, enhances joy, and opens our hearts to receive more of God's blessings. Praise and thanksgiving are also acts of spiritual warfare. Psalm 149 verse 6 affirms, May the praise of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands. When we praise God, we declare His victory over the enemy and the challenges that come against us. Our praise becomes a weapon that strengthens our faith, builds our trust in God, and provides healing by reminding us of His ultimate power and authority. Furthermore, praise brings healing by fostering an atmosphere of peace. Colossians 3 verses 16 to 17 advises, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. As we fill our hearts and homes with praise, we invite God's peace and healing to dwell within us and among us. Healing through deliverance and freedom. Deliverance is a vital aspect of healing, especially when we face spiritual or emotional oppression. Luke 4 verse 18 records Jesus' mission, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free. Through Jesus' work on the cross, we are delivered from the power of sin, death, and the enemy's strongholds, leading to true freedom and healing. Healing through deliverance begins with recognizing the need for freedom. John 8 verse 36 proclaims, So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. When we acknowledge areas of our lives where we are bound, whether by addiction, fear, shame, or any form of oppression, Jesus offers us freedom through his power and authority. His deliverance restores our dignity, peace, and wholeness. Deliverance is not just about overcoming external struggles but also about inner healing. Isaiah 61 verse 1 states that God's anointed servant would bind up the brokenhearted, offering healing to those who have been emotionally wounded. Deliverance through Christ heals deep emotional pain, bringing peace to our hearts and minds. Freedom through deliverance also involves walking in the authority of Christ. Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 11 urges us to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. As we stand firm in the authority of Jesus, we break free from the chains of the enemy and walk in the liberty he offers. Finally, Healing through deliverance leads to restoration. Joel 2 verses 25 to 26 promises, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, you will have plenty to eat, until you are full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God. Who has worked wonders for you?
Deliverance from oppression restores what was lost, bringing a season of abundance and healing into our lives. Healing through the restoration of relationships. Healing is often experienced in the context of restored relationships. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 18 tells us, All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. The reconciliation we experience with God through Christ spills over into our relationships with others. Bringing healing to broken connections and restoring unity. Healing through restored relationships begins with forgiveness. Matthew 6 verses 14 to 15 affirms, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. When we choose to forgive, we release the pain and resentment that hinder our healing. This forgiveness opens the door for restoration and healing in our relationships. Restored relationships also bring healing through mutual understanding and empathy. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4 advises, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interests of the others. As we seek to understand and serve one another, healing flows. And relationships are strengthened. Moreover, healing through restored relationships can be a source of spiritual growth. Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 to 10 reminds us, two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. In the context of loving relationships, we find support, encouragement, and accountability, which contribute to our spiritual and emotional healing. Ultimately, the restoration of relationships is a testimony of God's grace and power. Ephesians 4 verse 32 encourages, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. As God restores our relationships, we experience the joy of reconciliation and the peace that comes from living in harmony with one another. Healing through the renewal of the mind. The renewal of the mind is a crucial aspect of healing, as our thoughts greatly influence our emotions and actions. Romans 12 verse 2 commands, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. When our minds are renewed, our whole being is transformed. Allowing us to experience healing in areas where negative thought patterns have held us captive. Healing through the renewal of the mind begins with surrendering our thoughts to God. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5 urges, we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. We are called to examine our thoughts and align them with God's truth. As we replace lies with the truth of God's word, healing comes in the form of peace, freedom from anxiety, and victory over fear. This transformation involves cultivating a mindset of gratitude and positivity. Philippians 4 verse 8 encourages, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. When we train our minds to focus on the good, the pure, and the praiseworthy, our hearts are filled with joy and healing. Furthermore, the renewal of the mind leads to freedom from worry. Matthew 6 verse 34 reminds us, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. By focusing on God's provision and trusting in His care, we experience mental healing, overcoming the stress and burden of future concerns. Healing through the renewal of the mind also involves confronting and overcoming past hurts. Isaiah 61 verse 3 promises that God will provide for those who grieve, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning. 
and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. The transformation of our minds allows us to release the pain of past trauma, making space for healing and restoration to take place. As we renew our minds, we begin to think in alignment with God's will. Colossians 3 verse 2 tells us, Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. This heavenly perspective changes how we view ourselves, others, and the world around us. Our thoughts are transformed from fear and insecurity to confidence in God's plan for our lives. Finally, the healing process of mind renewal is sustained by constant meditation on God's Word. Psalm 1 verses 2 to 3 speaks of the blessed person, saying, But whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night? That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. Regular meditation on scripture strengthens our minds and deepens our healing as we continuously remind ourselves of God's promises and truth. Healing through the love of God. The love of God is the ultimate source of all healing. 1 John 4 verse 16 affirms, So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. When we experience the fullness of God's love, we are healed from the inside out. His love brings wholeness to our broken hearts, peace to our troubled minds, and strength to our weary bodies. Healing through God's love begins with accepting that we are deeply loved by Him. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 declares, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. When we understand that God's love for us is not conditional on our performance but is everlasting and unfailing, we experience profound healing in our sense of identity and worth. God's love heals by removing fear. 1 John 4 verse 18 explains, There is no fear in love. But perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. As we embrace the perfect love of God, fear, whether of the future, of rejection, or of failure, loses its grip on our hearts. This healing love enables us to walk in boldness, knowing that God is for us. The love of God also brings healing by fostering forgiveness. Ephesians 4 verse 32 encourages, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. When we experience God's forgiveness, we are empowered to forgive others. Freeing ourselves from the burden of bitterness and resentment. This healing process restores relationships and nurtures peace in our hearts. Moreover, healing through God's love involves the healing of wounds caused by rejection or abandonment. Psalm 147 verse 3 assures, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Many people experience emotional wounds that result from broken relationships or rejection, but God's love brings restoration. His love tells us that we are never alone, that He will never leave us or forsake us, and that His love is sufficient to heal our deepest hurts. Finally, God's love heals by imparting joy. Nehemiah 8 verse 10 declares, The joy of the Lord is your strength. As we receive and experience the love of God, it fills us with His joy, which becomes a wellspring of strength, even in difficult times. This joy renews our spirits, lifts our burdens, and heals our emotional and spiritual wounds. Healing through the Word of God The Word of God is a powerful tool for healing, bringing life and restoration to every area of our lives. Hebrews 4 verse 12 says, For the Word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. God's Word is living, active, and capable of discerning the deepest needs of our hearts, bringing healing where it is most needed. Healing through the Word begins with hearing and receiving it. 
Romans 10 verse 17 states, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. When we hear the word of God, it strengthens our faith. And faith is essential for healing. As we receive God's word, we allow it to transform us, renewing our minds and healing our hearts. The word of God also brings healing by providing wisdom and guidance. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. In times of confusion or darkness, God's word lights the way, providing clarity and direction for healing. It leads us to the right decisions, helps us navigate challenges, and offers hope for the future. Moreover, the word of God heals by restoring our souls. Psalm 23 verse 3 declares, he refreshes my soul. When we meditate on God's promises, we find rest and renewal for our souls. The scriptures bring peace to our minds, comfort to our hearts, and joy to our spirits. Finally, the word of God brings physical healing. Proverbs 4 verses 20 to 22 affirms, My son, pay attention to what I say, turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight, keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. God's word has the power to heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually, restoring health to every area of our lives. Healing through the community of believers. The community of believers plays a vital role in the healing process. Galatians 6 verse 2 encourages, carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. When we share our struggles with others and allow them to support us. Healing happens through the love and care of the body of Christ. Healing through community begins with bearing one another's burdens. In times of difficulty, we are not meant to walk alone. Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 to 10 assures, two are better than one, if either of them falls down, one can help the other up. The support of fellow believers helps us persevere, find strength, and experience healing in our relationships and emotions. Community also fosters healing through prayer. James 5 verse 16 states, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Praying together strengthens our faith, encourages one another, and brings about healing. Whether emotional, physical, or spiritual. Furthermore, healing through community involves encouragement and accountability. Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25 urges, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. As we gather with fellow believers, we are reminded of God's faithfulness and encouraged to continue on our journey toward healing. Finally, community is where we experience the tangible love of Christ. 1 John 3 verse 18 challenges us, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech but with actions and in truth through acts of kindness, service, and support. The healing power of God's love is made evident in our relationships with one another, restoring hearts and building the body of Christ. Healing through service to others. Service to others is an essential avenue through which we experience healing. Jesus himself modeled a life of selfless service, teaching us that by giving of ourselves to others, we receive healing in return. Matthew 20 verse 28 tells us, The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. In following Christ's example, we find that service not only blesses others but also brings us closer to God's heart, healing our own wounds. When we serve others, we are able to shift our focus from our own struggles to the needs of those around us. This perspective shift can bring healing to emotional wounds by diminishing feelings of self-pity, loneliness, and isolation. Philippians 2 verse 4 encourages us, Let each of you look not only to his own interests but also to the interests of others. 
Serving helps us to connect with others, building relationships and community. Which in turn brings a sense of belonging and healing. Healing through service is also an expression of God's love. Jesus taught that when we serve others, we are actually serving Him. In Matthew 25 verse 40, He says, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. This reminder that our acts of service are done in God's name gives them eternal significance, and as we serve, we experience the peace and fulfillment that comes from being aligned with God's will. Service to others is transformative. By focusing on giving rather than receiving, we allow God's healing power to flow through us. Acts of service, whether big or small, bring joy not only to those we serve but to ourselves as well. Galatians 6 verses 9 to 10 advises, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. In serving others, we experience the restoration of our spirits, healing our hearts from bitterness and resentment, while cultivating compassion and empathy. Through service, we also discover our own purpose in God's kingdom. When we serve others, we participate in God's redemptive work in the world. Acts 20 verse 35 reminds us of this truth. It is more blessed to give than to receive. As we engage in service, we come to understand that the blessings and healing we receive are a direct result of our willingness to give. Healing through the power of praise and worship. Praise and worship are powerful forms of healing. The act of lifting our voices in adoration to God transforms our hearts, releases our burdens, and invites God's presence into our lives. Psalm 22 verse 3 says, Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. Worship is a spiritual practice that invites God's healing power to flow in our lives, as we turn our hearts toward Him in reverence and awe. Praise and worship bring healing by helping us focus on God's greatness and goodness. When we worship, we are reminded of His power and majesty, and our problems shrink in comparison to His might. Psalm 34 verse 3 declares, Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. In times of difficulty, focusing on God through praise elevates our spirits allowing us to feel the peace and joy that come from knowing that God is greater than any circumstance. Worship is also a means of surrender. In the act of praising and worshiping God, we acknowledge that He is in control and that His plans are greater than our own. In Psalm 95 verses 6-7, the psalmist invites us to, Come, let us bow down in worship, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are the people of His pasture, the flock under His care. Surrendering our hearts to God in worship allows Him to heal our fears, anxieties, and doubts, filling us with His peace. Additionally, praise and worship heal us by bringing us into God's presence. Psalm 16 verse 11 says, You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. In God's presence, we find fullness of joy and healing. Worship is a way to draw near to God, and it is in His presence that we are restored, uplifted, and healed. Moreover, worship can break spiritual strongholds. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 22 describes how, when the people of Judah praised God, He defeated their enemies. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah, and they were defeated. In our own lives, praise and worship can break the chains of fear, oppression, and despair. As we declare God's greatness, we release His power to break through the obstacles standing in the way of our healing. In times of sorrow or grief, praise and worship can provide comfort. 
Psalm 30 verses 11 to 12 speaks of this healing. You turned my wailing into dancing, you removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever. Worship can lift us from the depths of despair and fill our hearts with hope and joy, enabling us to heal emotionally and spiritually. Healing through God's creation. God's creation is a powerful tool for healing. The natural world reflects the beauty, majesty, and creativity of God, and spending time in nature can restore our spirits and bring us closer to Him. Psalm 19 verse 1 declares, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Through the wonder of creation, we can experience the healing touch of God as we reconnect with the beauty He has made. Being in nature provides a sense of peace and tranquility that can be restorative. Psalm 23 verses 2 to 3 assures us, He makes me lie down in green pastures, He leads me beside quiet waters, He refreshes my soul. The peacefulness of a quiet stream, the beauty of a sunset, or the majesty of mountains can refresh our souls and help us experience God's healing. When we take time to immerse ourselves in creation, we are reminded of God's sovereignty and His care for us. Moreover, spending time in God's creation can help us find clarity and perspective.